Somewhere in Earth's distant past, a cataclysmic asteroid impact shook the planet, leaving behind a trail of devastation so immense that its effects are still recorded in the rocks of Western Australia. Yet despite the overwhelming evidence, the crater remains missing, swallowed by billions of years of geological change. This is the story of the Girona impact event, one of the largest asteroid collisions in Earth's history. A moment when a cosmic behemoth crashed into our world, unleashing an apocalyptic mega tsunami between 2 to 5 kilometers high that surged across Earth's primordial oceans. This video will explore the extensive evidence uncovered in multiple peer reviewed studies, revealing the extraordinary events that took place 2.63 billion years ago in or near the Pilbara Craton of Western Australia. You can find the links to the studies used to construct this video in the description. Though the crater remains elusive, geologists have uncovered compelling evidence of the Girona impact through multiple geological markers. The most significant clue lies in a thin layer of impact ejecta preserved within the Girona formation, part of the Fortescue group. This layer, known as the Girona impact layer, or GIL, contains microscopic spherules, tiny droplets of molten rock that condensed from a superheated cloud of vaporized crust following an asteroid impact. These spherules, frozen relics of fire and fury, tell the story of an Earth momentarily transformed into an inferno. This impact layer is best preserved in core samples and outcrops near areas such as the Roy Hill and Girona Hill regions, where geologists have studied its composition extensively. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button, hit the bell icon and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. Scientists have identified microcrystite spherules and microtectites within the gel layer. The Fortescue group, a major geological unit in the Pilbara Craton, preserves evidence of extensive volcanic and sedimentary activity during the late Archean, between 2.8 to 2.5 billion years ago. The presence of these impact-related spherules in the Girona formation confirms that an asteroid impact occurred during its deposition. Microcrystite spherules and microtectites are indicative of an extraterrestrial origin, as they contain high levels of iridium, a rare element on Earth but abundant in asteroids. Nickel-rich phases are also present, consistent with asteroid material. Platinum group element anomalies match known asteroid compositions, and planar deformation features in quartz grains, which only form under extreme pressure, further confirm an impact event. These spherules are similar to those found in other confirmed impact events, such as the Chicxulub impact, which is the event that's thought to have led to the extinction of the dinosaurs. The fact that these microscopic markers exist within a well-dated geological layer provides undeniable proof that an asteroid struck the Earth around 2.63 billion years ago. The presence of these spherules in multiple locations within the Pilbara Craton, including exposures near Newman and across the Hammersley Basin, suggests that the impact's effects were widespread and catastrophic. To estimate the size of the impactor, scientists used the diameter of spherules found in the Jill layer. The asteroid responsible for this apocalyptic moment is believed to have been between 10 and 20 kilometers wide, comparable to the behemoth that doomed the dinosaurs. But what truly makes this impact staggering is the energy it unleashed. The Girona asteroid carried the force of millions of nuclear bombs detonating simultaneously, vaporizing entire landscapes, hurling molten rock into space, and setting the very atmosphere ablaze. Unlike Chicxulub, which left behind a colossal crater in Mexico, the impact site of the Girona asteroid has vanished, swallowed by the unrelenting march of geological time. Why? Over 2.63 billion years, plate tectonics, erosion, and sedimentary processes may have obliterated the crater, burying it beneath newer rock layers. If the asteroid struck a shallow ocean, as many scientists suspect, the crater may have been erased by the ceaseless shifting of the seafloor. Some believe the impact site could still be hidden beneath the Pilbara region or offshore, a relic of catastrophe waiting to be rediscovered. Although the crater is missing, the widespread presence of impact debris and tsunami deposits provides indirect confirmation of the asteroid's massive energy release. 
One of the most haunting consequences of the Jirina impact was the monstrous mega tsunami that followed. Imagine a wave, not mere meters, but kilometers high, towering like a mountain, ripping across the prehistoric ocean. This tsunami, driven by the impact's colossal energy, scoured the sea floor and reshaped entire coastlines. In the Karawine Dolomite of the eastern Hammersley Basin, the evidence remains. Mega breccia deposits. Enormous boulders that were lifted and thrown like pebbles. Sedimentary layers violently torn apart and mixed together in chaotic disarray. The tsunami left behind undeniable traces of its destructive power. Boulder deposits, some as large as houses, were transported and deposited far from their origin. Disrupted sediment layers indicate powerful water movement and turbulence, showing clear signs of chaotic redeposition. Injection of microcrystide bearing mud into fractures suggests that the tsunami had hydraulic pressures exceeding lithostatic pressure, forcing impact ejected material into pre existing rock formations. In simpler terms, this means that the tsunami was so powerful that it forced mud mixed with tiny impact debris, in this case microcrystites, into cracks in the seafloor and existing rock formations. The pressure of the water was stronger than the weight of the overlying rock layers, allowing the material to be injected deep into the ground. This is a key indicator of the tsunami's extreme force and its ability to reshape the seafloor. Thickness variations in tsunami deposits some breccia layers over 100 meters thick suggest the tsunami was powerful enough to excavate and redeposit seafloor sediments across vast areas. Models suggest that tsunami wave heights could have exceeded 2 to 5 kilometers near the impact site, with waves traveling hundreds to thousands of kilometers across ancient ocean basins. Tsunami deposits are particularly well documented in drill cores from the eastern Hammersley Range and around Marble Bar where scientists have analysed sedimentary disturbances associated with the impact. Beyond the fire, the fury and the waves, the Jirina impact may have left another legacy. It may have helped shape the vast iron ore deposits of Western Australia. The asteroid struck at a time when Earth's oceans were saturated with dissolved iron, an eerie red world where oxygen was scarce. In the aftermath of the impact, Iron-rich waters may have been violently stirred, mixing with shallow waters that were intermittently influenced by microbial oxygen production, triggering the precipitation of massive iron deposits. The impact may have also led to increased hydrothermal activity, releasing additional iron into the ocean. Shortly after the gel impact, around 2.6 billion years ago, the Maramumba Iron Formation, one of Australia's most significant BIF units, began depositing, suggesting a potential triggered iron precipitation event. This formation, found across the Hammersley Basin, contains iron-rich layers that may have been influenced by the aftermath of the impact event. This pattern of impact events, followed by banded iron formation deposition, is not unique to Jill. Other impacts, such as those linked to the spheral marker beds and the Dales Gorge member, also appear to correlate with banded iron formation deposition. This suggests a breathtaking possibility. Asteroid impacts may have played a fundamental role in shaping Earth's iron wealth, the destructive power paradoxically leading to the creation of a resource that would one day fuel human civilization. A final mystery binds Jirina to a land far from the Pilbara, South Africa's Kupfvol Craton. Thousands of kilometers away, within the Transvol supergroup, lies the Monteville Formation, a layer containing impact spherules nearly identical to those found in Jirina. This suggests something truly astonishing. The impact that rocked Western Australia may have also affected South Africa. At the time, the Pilbara and Kupfvol Cratons were likely part of the early supercontinent Valbara, meaning that both regions were geographically close. A single asteroid strike powerful enough to leave a signature on two separate landmasses speaks to the sheer magnitude of the event. The Jirina impact event was a world-shaking cataclysm, a moment of unthinkable devastation that left behind a trail of evidence across continents. Though its crater remains lost to time, its legacy endures in the spherules scattered through the rock, in the colossal tsunami deposits, in the iron that built modern industry, 
and in the very structure of our ancient world. The asteroid, a monstrous traveller from the depths of space, slammed into the Earth with an impact that rivalled the might of creation itself. It generated a crater, possibly 150 to 300 kilometers wide. It triggered mega tsunamis several kilometers high, and may have contributed to the formation of banded iron formations. Its ejector reached as far as South Africa's Kupfer Craton, confirming its global impact. The implications of such an event challenge our understanding of how asteroid impacts influenced early Earth, not just in terms of destruction, but also in facilitating some of the geochemical processes that made modern life possible. While the search for its crater continues, the Girona impact remains one of the greatest cosmic mysteries in Earth's history. A silent but awe-inspiring reminder of the raw power of the universe. One day, the missing crater may be found, unlocking the final piece of the puzzle. Until then, we are left with the scattered fragments of an event so immense that it defies comprehension. A collision that forever altered the world as it was, paving the way for the world as we know it. I hope you found this as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.